Before I even could throw my GoPro on. First cast. <laughs> First cast on a jig. Wow, I hope that's not like a bad luck sign. Beautiful black crappie right there though. Definitely a keeper. Going to the well, my friend. Okay, so I actually have not even left the dock area. I was just like, you know what? These little, this little stump line looks pretty good. And I just threw out one of these stumps. There's some current that's coming by here. That is a good sign though, because that fish was shallow and that's that's how I really want to fish. I want to be able to throw up this shallow. Oh, there's a bite, got him. Another crappie. There we go, baby. Nice, nice. Woo, paper mouth, almost lost you. Almost lost you because you're so papery. Now this one is not, it's not a very big one for this lake, but still very nice. They gotta be 10 to keep. Got an 11 incher. That's gonna be a very, very tasty fish to take back home. There we go, join your friend. The little jig head I'm using here is just a custom one that somebody, some, one of you sent me. And uh, it's got a little sickle hook on there. I like it. I like it. It looks like it'd be weird for hookups, but it hooks up really well as long as you're not jerking on them too much. That stump was in like six feet of water. It might just be one of them, these deals where I'm just plucking them off stumps, you know, just a couple at a time. I don't know if they're gonna be in the full blown grouped up mode. Hopefully we find that. Oh, there we go. Right on that wood. Oh, that's a bass. <laughs> Ooh, man, they live together, y'all. Imagine that was like a 10. It's crazy. It's really funny when you start crappie fishing, you actually figure out a lot about bass too, like where they're setting up and, and they, they really share a lot of the same areas. I thought for sure that was gonna be a crappie. It was locked on the wood. Unfortunately, bass will just tear your stuff up, so I gotta get re-rigged here. Show you guys, any of y'all that are new to crappie fishing, it's really basic stuff. You know, it's a lot of a lot of jig heads, at least a lot of the tactics that I use. It's kind of like bass fishing. I'm literally flipping stumps. It's just, you know, I'm going for crappie instead of bass. Little grubs are good, little straight tail, uh, little situations are good, a little tiny stuff, but I'm gonna be using one of these, uh, these LFT baby shads with a sickle tail on it. The sickle tail just adds, uh, it's like a grub tail. And I've got a bunch of little grubs here too I can throw on, I may, may give that a whirl. But I've only got a few of these left. I'm gonna thread that through just like I would with any other swim bait on a jig head. Just like that, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of chartreuse on the tail. Literally just using the cap off the, uh, the dipping glow. I'm not even dunking it in there. You don't need very much at all. Okay. Now we're ready to get back in the game. Got him. Oh my, that's a big bass. What in the world? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Late fork. Oh, Lake Fork, I love you. You're just awesome. <laughs> That's a post spawner there. Jeez. Y'all, I fished my butt off yesterday for six, seven hours to try to catch a fish like this, and then I come out here crappie fishing, catch one in 10 minutes. That's just crazy. Ah. Look at that skinny fish. Four and a half pounder probably. Big old mouth. Crappie fishing, y'all. Unreal. Look at that little bitty jig. Isn't that something? Isn't that crazy? I, what happens though is there's a lot of fry garters. You know, I've been seeing some fry. And fry garters will attack anything. And uh, even bedding fish, they'll, they'll inhale little jigs like that like it's nothing, like it's a little peanut. Just 
and slurp it in. It's really non-threatening. And uh, they just take it as, yeah, it's a little flea. Let me just flick that out of here. I'll suck it in my mouth. Nice fish right there. But you're not going in the fryer, buddy. Don't worry. See you, dude. Uh, hopefully you're an eight pounder someday. Okay, let's see what other kinds of fish are lurking around in here. It's crazy. I learned so much about bass fishing when I'm, when I'm crappie fishing. And you'll hear stories from people talking about crappie fishing out here and they hook some magnum bass absolute giant there's a big one that's a big bass too i mean I'm a, i just found the bass that's a big bass oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh it's like five pounder <laughs> on, a, on a crappie pole unbelievable unbelievable oh he's in a he's in a tree he found that tree he's gonna break me off nope no he's not i think the braid might have saved me there now he's in another tree come here oh this one's fighting so much more than that last one ah, if i get you in it's gonna be a daggum miracle ah, you're at the surface come here ah honestly he's not that much bigger he's just he's just a daggum bulldog Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, about the same size. No flipping you in the boat. Ah. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Ah. If y'all are wondering why the Lake Fork guy is the name of this channel, it's because the first time I came out here, fell in love with fishing. I mean, just the mystique of the bass. There's so many bass out here this size, you know four or five pounders and you can just have a field day with them i'm not even trying to catch them right now amazing absolutely amazing good fish again on the jig i think they're fry girders bloody tail so hey let's keep throwing a crappie jig we might catch an eight pounder today all right just ran into another creek and uh fished up shallow for a minute I mean, it was really shallow. Uh, this is actually an area I caught them last year, and I think they're just done spawning and being up in that like super, you know, two to four foot. But I just found myself a little stump out here, rolled by it with the side imaging, and I could see it's got. So that's the stump right there. I'm gonna drop down, see if I can catch them. Okay, I want to say they were like ten feet down. So I've got myself a little, uh, just a straight little plastic on there, no moving appendage, because I'm gonna vertical fish them. Apologize for the chainsaw noise. There's nothing I can do about that though. Man's working on his beautiful yard out here, Lake Fork. Can't fault him for that. This tree's got fry all over it too. They're definitely on this side of the tree. Ah, had them on for a second. Come on, my little babies. Get on there now. Got him. There we go. Oh man, little crappie. Little crappie, that's probably why they weren't getting it. You're just a little too small, but you've shown yourself. Now I gotta remember that depth. My rod is eight feet long, so I can kind of get a gauge with that. There he is. There's keeper. There we go, baby. You can see them on the electronics right there. There's a bunch of them. Got him. Feels like another good one. Yes, sir. Keep her crappie right in the top of the schnozzle there. So what I did is I basically went to the first most logical spot, the first drop off, good drop off with cover that was close to a spawning area where I caught them last year. You know, they weren't there, they're done spawning. So I came up to this, uh, this little break and I just started idling around it. And the first tree I, I thought I found them, but I think they were white bass moving through because they, were, they weren't really on the cover. So when you're looking for crappie, you could pretty much bet that they are gonna be on the cover, on the wood most of the time. And I, I drove by this one and I saw on the side image, 
it was just littered with them you know it had like a dozen or more so that was a good indicator those are cropping just got to get the right size ones here got him little guy these are sitting significantly deeper in this creek got him soft bite or they're just small that's another reason okay i'm gonna switch up colors see if i can get get a little bit bigger one i'm gonna go with a little electric chicken right here electric chicken finger licking just got floated got a bump got him little little black crappie this is so cool to catch crappie like this i have like a racing stripe down <laughs> down their back it's really pretty that's just a tiny one where's your mama and i can see a couple juicy ones down here right next to the tree got him there's a keeper i think yeah hey, you're close Found him. Look at them all up in there. My gosh. Oh, bumped. Bumped. Got him. Come on now, sir. Get up in here, keeper. There we go. A little bit better. Not exactly what we are looking for. But he's definitely a keeper so i actually saw i mean i don't know if i could tell on the electronics but it was it was quite a wad if you look down there there's brush and there's fish all mixed in in the brush and it looks like a tasty treat i just moved up to that top of that brush ball you can see fish right there in it boy yeah we're we're not getting that back sometimes your your jig heads will bend out like that one just did okay so even though i found a buttload of crappie right there i'm gonna bounce from this spot because i think there are a lot of small crappie again that's only like 100 yards from that last spot when i got on top of them you know that seems like they don't bite nearly as good i have to cast and they're in like a a tree that is it comes up to seven and it's kind of laid down i mean i'm looking at them right now there's, there's like 50 of them in that tree but I, they just look small. I mean, I just confirmed it. I had one keeper. My first bite was not a keeper, so I'm gonna keep moving. I may just go back to the creek, man, where it all started, and keep working all the way back there and just pitching shallow stumps. I like that better, you know. I just that was where the keepers were that I caught, and uh, unless I just absolutely see a mega wad like bigger than that one, I don't think I'm gonna fish these deep trees. Big crop is. Got some spindly looking trees right here. Coming up on a point. Hooked up. Big crappie. Big mega crappie. Yes. Yes. There we go, y'all. That is what we're coming out here for. Sorry, my GoPro ran out of juice right there, but that is a big healthy black crappie i've been looking for you all day are you going to give us any friends man y'all that one actually thumped it good i mean when they hit it a big crappie it's like a bass jig bite Boom. They suck that thing in little bass no little bass that last crappie could have eaten you. And there's just a lot of stumps right here in this five foot of water. So I'm hoping to just pick a few more Mondos off like the last one I caught. I'm just fishing a small little grub right now. And I'm throwing past these stumps like 10 feet. I'm just slowly swimming it from what I've seen on the electronics. If they're not grouped up, I think the little ones are the ones that are stacked together. 
and these bigger ones there's only like one or two of them together and they're like in the tops of the trees when I'm idling in deep deeper water but they're only you know like seven feet down or so Ooh, got him crappy big and son all them keepers man that's not really a big one but definitely a keeper all those keeper bites coming on these stumps just isolated like five to seven feet of water Let's see if I can get another one there I didn't even see the stump I was throwing in between the stumps could have come on another one it's like a freaking huge bass sitting on it too I can like see the f outline of that football right there oh I think I just had it I think I just had a bite oh got him oh geez definitely a crappie bite good one ah I had him he's swimming with it ah, what is going on here what is that got him got him spot like that I don't think that was just one absolutely freaking inhaled it well daggum I'm hung up now There we go. Oh, baby. What do we got? Oh, is this mega crappie? Oh, I think it is. Nope, it's a largey. Dad gummit. I was about to say that. That's her. That's old big. Golly. Bass on a little jigging rod. Pretty exciting stuff, though. Ah. Yeah, baby. Can I fling this fish in? Oh, man, you're a healthy fish. There we go. If you think a two inch grub can't catch a bass in the nose, you're wrong. Two pounder, healthy as an ox. Very nice. You know what that fish feels like on this rod? It feels like an eight pound bass on a normal bass fishing rod. Can't tell me that's not fun. Another just mega fatty toad bass sitting in their perfect depth. Ooh, man, they're sitting off of these stumps like the crappie are. I'm getting pretty excited about my bass fishing adventure tomorrow. All right, we are back at the dock. We're gonna close it out right here. A beautiful day on the world famous infamous sometimes lake fork and there it is big and beautiful you're definitely gonna go on the dinner plate my friend my dream is to catch one three pounds so that was the biggest one of the day I ended up with I think nine other ones as well you know the key was basically swimming uh, a jig or a little grub uh, or a little you know swim bait by those stumps for the bigger ones I did find lots of fish out in deeper water but it was it was really just uh mostly small fish i couldn't pull any big ones out of there so honestly more fun for me to like getting to target those areas and learning about the bass fishing at the same time i mean it's it's really cool how the two species integrate together i'm not full crappie crazy but i'm getting there i'm pretty darn close because there's so many things that are similar to bass that you have to unlock and figure out and it really is like dial really dialing it into specific things sometimes and definitely today it was you know for the bigger ones anyway finding those stumps five to seven feet of water swimming that thing by there just so and then popping so i am going to close it out right here at the dog get the crappie in the cooler and tonight uh we might even do a little bass fishing tonight but i'm going to save that for a whole nother episode and i'm going to be camping in the truck i would never call it roughing it when i'm sitting right next to the water's edge listening to the water lap over in beautiful camping weather probably 55 degrees tonight wow and i know i've been hearing it in the comments but 
Let me know if you want to see more crappie videos. I honestly enjoy doing it, and I think uh, I think some of you are turning on to crappie as well. Go ahead and double smash. No, don't double smash. That might like make it a negative. Just hit it hard one time. Big old like button.